it is possible to have qualities of triads just like we had qualities of intervals. And the words are the same. We have major triads, minor triads, diminished triads, and augmented triads. So those four words also apply to three note groups. Now, the one word that is a quality word that we use for intervals that is not here in this list is the word perfect. There are no perfect triads, only these four. And we're going to talk about major triads in this video. So we need to start with our cheat sheet. And this is going to make major triads really easy. So what I've got here is the cheat sheet that we've been using for most of the semester. And this cheat sheet does not have my columns numbered, so I'm going to do that right now. Remember, this was one of the things that I suggested to help. Uh, now, a major triad comes straight out of the major scale. And it is the first column, the third column, and the fifth column. And that's all you need to do to make a major triad. It's really very simple. If I were to ask for a D major triad, then the way that you would spell it is you would go D, F sharp, A. Okay, D, F sharp, A makes a D major triad. Let's do B. B, D sharp, F sharp. Column 1, column 3, column 5. Now, if you haven't already watched the, the uh, root position uh, spellings video, then you should do that right now and then come back to this one. Because what I want you to observe is that those seven possible root position spellings are always present here. Okay, so remember, let me just put the sheet back up. So, for example, if we start and we want a triad that's built on D, it has to have the letters F and A. But if we want to make it major, then we have to use exactly what we see on the cheat sheet, which means it can't just be DFA. It has to come from this scale, so it has to be DF sharp A. But it still is one of the list of seven spellings that we had in the other video. Let's do one with flats. Let's go to E flat major. So if I want an E flat major, then I simply come here and I look at the first, third, and fifth notes. And again, it's right here on this list, but the only difference is now we're using accidentals to get the qualities. This is exactly what we did when we did intervals. We calculated the size of the intervals only using our fingers and counting letters of the alphabet. But the qualities happen when we uh, apply accidentals based on our scale. Okay, so EGB is the generic spelling. E flat, G, B flat makes it a major triad. 